Greetings, YouTube. I saw an article yesterday online about a church in Gainesville, uh, Gainesville, Florida. Sorry, sorry for anybody in Gainesville. And it put up a sign that referred to Islam, and I quote, "Islam is of the devil." And they seem surprised at some level that, you know, this is considered inflammatory by some people, particularly by those who happen to be Muslim. And the part of the article that I think really stunned me was the parting line from uh, the Pastor Jones when he said, We are definitely trying to open up dialogue, create interest, create awareness, get people to think. Hmm. No, you're not. You're trying to generate controversy. You're trying to get attention. You're trying to point out to the entire world that you are a narrow-minded group of bigots. Now, I support this church's right to do this. It's free speech. And I will defend their right to put this sign up with my life. But on another level, I'm happy they put it up. So like I've said before, I enjoy when bigots put labels on themselves. It makes it so much easier for the rest of us to look over and go, hey, you know, they're a bigot, and keep right on walking. It helps to marginalize them, because people like this need to be marginalized. They need to be ignored. Now, in a perfect world, of course, we'd educate them. But I get the feeling that a group of people that put a sign up and say that Islam is of the devil on their lawn of a church aren't really in the educational category. Maybe as individuals, but as a group, they seem to have achieved a level of bigotry that's the groupthink model, and that's really hard to change as a group. They actually, in the article, also mentioned that someone very spray painted over the sign, but the next day another one arrived. So they're also consistent. They've seen a part, they've seen aggression against the, the opinion, and they supported their their right to, to continue with it. And again, I support their right to do this, but I still think they're religious bigots. Now maybe Gainesville has a growing Muslim population, but so what? The city I live in does too. When I was a child, there were there's no presence of the Muslim community in my my city, and now there is. I work with any number of Muslims from any number of different countries, uh, from African countries, from uh, the Middle East, and you know something? I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me. They have as much right to be here as anybody else does. They have as much right to, to practice their religion as anybody else does. I get along with them without a problem. In fact, as one of the few Americans that has any inkling about what the uh, Muslim faith is, I actually get a pretty positive reaction from most of the my Muslim co-workers, because I, they know that as long as they're not being, you know, bigoted asshats, we're going to get along just fine. But for an organization to probably make this kind of statement, they have to know that it's going to generate controversy. They have to know it's going to draw attention to them, and not the good kind of attention, not the kind of attention where you, where that, that people applaud you for your community service or for the good works you do. There are no good works being done here. There's bigotry being done here. There's prejudice being done here. There's a narrow-minded view of the world and their attempt to foster it. And that isn't healthy for anyone. Not for the community the church is in, not for the church itself, not for the Muslim community, and not for the members of the church that helped support this move and put up this sign. Narrowing your worldview is not helpful to anybody. Diversity is beautiful and it's healthy. It's vigorous. It creates ideas and thought that couldn't exist before without that diversity. And that's a good thing. But a sign like this, just a hurtful, hateful, bigoted statement. Go church.